Hi, today I'm following up on Lauren's most recent blog in which she talked about histamine overload and histamine intolerance. We have supplement here and she's referred to that. It's from Designs for Health and it's called Histease. And in it are synergistic ingredients that all come together and work together to modulate our immune system, to help with that mast cell activation, to help with you know, the seasonal allergies when our histamine and our, um, our histamine bucket is overflowing. And I kind of wanted to highlight one of the ingredients. This is stinging nettle, and I actually got this at a local farmer's market. It actually grows wild. They have been using it for since ancient Greece, ancient Egypt times for lots of different, for mostly respiratory and joint health. It is a great modulator for immune system, and it's especially well known for seasonal allergies and to help with that histamine response. The reason they call it a stinging nettle is because on the underside of the leaves and also on the stem, you can see these tiny little little hairs, little prickly hairs. And when you, I'm actually wearing gloves. You always would definitely want to handle this with gloves. Never touch it, um, touch it with bare hands because it'll definitely sting you. Um, but when you rub up against it, tips of these, um, these little hairs actually come off and it acts like needles. And this is a defense mechanism of the plant, so it works very well to keep um, things from eating it. But it actually injects formic acid. There's a bunch of different chemicals, but formic acid is one of them. And that's actually the thing that causes that stinging sensation in ant and bee stings. And it also releases histamine into us, which also causes that st this stinging and the swelling and the redness. And it's just very interesting that here we're using it as a, you know, kind of as an antihistamine when it actually itself releases histamine. So just kind of very interesting on that. Sometimes like cures like in a lot of ways. I also want to talk about quercetin. And quercetin is called the king of the flavonoids because it's a very potent antioxidant. It's super good for us. It is wonderful for immune um, response and to just helping mediate our immune system. And that's found in a lot of different, in culinary herbs, in leafy greens, in radicchio, in um, red berries, those deep dark red berries, and also red grapes. And it's even found in olive oil. So there's a lot of fruits and vegetables that do contain quercetin. So that's another thing you can do when allergy season hits, increase some vegetables and fruits that have a high in quercetin. So I wanna show you how to make a tea. And this would be in addition to, you know, whatever supplementation you have, it's probably one or two cups a day would be enough. You don't wanna overdose in this. There's not necessarily like a, a dose for stinging nettles, but this would just be an adjunct to anything that you're on as well, because you don't wanna overdo it. Okay, so what we do with the stinging nettles, and I found these at a farmer's market, like I said, fresh. You can also get it dried at um, a local health food store. They often sell it in bulk. So I had that there. And what you wanna do is you want to take a small pot and put a few, just a few sprigs, kind of like a handful of, of the stinging nettles and also some leaves and about two cups of water and then put it on the stove, bring it to a boil. Once it boils, cover the lid, set the timer for 15 minutes, let it steep for 15 minutes. When that's all done, simply strain it out over a little fine mesh strainer. Just pour that out like this. And now you have some beautiful stinging nettle tea. You can add fresh ginger. You can add raw some raw honey. That'll also help with, um, you know, the seasonal allergies and also just so soothing. So many good benefits of ginger. And this is what it looks like. It's absolutely just lovely. It's so nice and very comforting, very earthy, very... Um, almost like grassy flavor. It's just super nice, especially with some raw honey. Very wonderful. It's just a nice little addition you can do just during seasonal allergies. And I hope you enjoy.